Welcome to a very special video. I'm your host Gaming J and today I wanted to show you guys just a little sneak peek of a game I've been working on. So I have mentioned this game a number of times on my channel for people who are longtime viewers. Um, and truthfully, this game is not yet ready for a public release. Uh, what I'm hoping to do is later in the month, hopefully this month, uh, do a live stream of this game, show it off, and then maybe drop the public alpha at that point. But right now, it's in limited alpha testing. And for those of you who don't know, this is a basically a Battletech fan game. This is my dream game that I've been making. And one of the reasons I'm putting today's video out is uh, I actually had an interview on Sarna.net, and they put it out today. And it told people about this game. So, uh, you know, we're getting an influx of people who are interested in this game. And I wanted to create some kind of landing uh, video for them so they could actually uh, see that, it, yes, it did exist on this channel. Um, anyway, um, so Battlemerks here is basically a simultaneous remake of Crescent Hawk's Inception, Revenge, with the contract and mercenary system of Mech Warrior 1. So it's sort of a mashup of the classic Battletech Power Hits games, if you're familiar with that. And today I'm just going to hop into um, a new career here and just show you some very limited gameplay because, again, this is really just a teaser. So when you start the game up, you can pick which era you want to begin in and the era will determine what mechs are available uh, and mostly the star map as well because 3030 and 3039, there was a lot of uh, changing of borders, uh, you know, at the Lyran Commonwealth or the Federated Commonwealth. Yeah, the Lion Commonwealth and Federated Sons merged into the, the Federated Commonwealth, Commonwealth. Anyway, let's just start in 3025. Um, you get to choose your starting faction. We'll go Classic Steiner. And uh, you get to choose how hard of a game you want. We'll just start on easy for today. And voila, here we are in the world of Battle Mercs. So we are on planet Dust Ball. And if we check our current location, that is indeed where we are. We have some reputation with the existing houses. Um, as an established mercenary unit, we get to start off with a couple of mechs. So we got a grasshopper, an ostrock, a crusader, and an urban mech. That's pretty cool. Um, here's our crew. So we have some a uh, few elite and a couple of regular pilots. We got Knuckles, Reaper, uh, Dalton, Hartgen, and Dirk Graydon. And you can see the uh, you know crew has various other skills that might come in handy in various RPG adventures that they might get into. Very shenanigans, we'll call them. Um, so first of all, if you're not happy with the planet you start on, you can always go to the star map and you can pick another planet to go to. Um, so you can really go wherever you want. You can go to Solaris if you want to get involved in the arena. Outreach, um, which is a mercenary hub, although technically it wasn't in 3025, but, um, you know, uh, we'll work on fixing up the lore and the game values later in the development. Um, in fact, let me pop over to Solaris. I think I have the animated tiles. No, they're not working yet. Anyway, this is Solaris. So if you want to come, uh, you can come here and you can place some bets um on some upcoming matches you can see the banner bulldogs versus the pack of panthers uh the ice event versus the banner company hot dogs feedback empire versus thunder armored cavalry um and you can see the maps that they're going to be fighting on as well you can also rent some mechs if you want to you know take mechs into combat and you don't want to spend your own you'll always get kind of crappy mechs when you rent but you'll get some variety in what you can rent um and you could take your own mechs into combat if you want and so you could you know load up your crusader and your ostrock and your grass maybe we'd leave the urban mech behind because it's kind of slow and you could uh, you know drop your pilots in and we could launch um but we're not going to do that just yet i just wanted to show off a few other things and then we'll call it a day again this isn't going to be a full exposure video this is just a tease just to show you guys that this thing exists and is working so, uh, you know, every planet will have a mech at lube, which will have mechs that are for sale. Ooh, archers. Um, different planets have different sort of currency ratings. So when you're on rich planets, mechs will cost more. On poor planets, they'll cost less. So you could even get into some merc tra or, or, uh, mech trading by traveling to periphery world to buy, you know, mechs cheap. You'll only find light mechs out there, but you can buy them cheap and bring them into the core worlds and sell them for more money. Uh, you can, of course, sell your own mechs, so 
if we want to sell this urban mech. Um, you can also go to the speed shop, and unlike Crescent Hawk's Inception, you have a lot more control here. So you can actually come in and we could mod uh, a mech. So maybe for the urban mech, we actually want to get rid of its auto cannon and small laser and auto cannon 10. And then we could see, you know, uh, we need to buy some parts. So what do they got? An LRM 10, that's not going to work. Oh, I was hoping for some medium lasers or something. Anyway, okay, let's buy a medium laser and, I don't know, an LRM-10, an LRM-10 ammo. So we can go back into our urban mech here. And this game doesn't use a hard point system. Like, um, uh, oh, does not want to let me place that. All right, so we experienced a little crash. So this is what I mean by it's still in its alpha form. Um, so it's not ready for prime time yet, but we'll just go back in. We'll get a new unit, by the way, so, uh, you know, mechs are randomly generated uh, when you start a new unit. You have, There's sort of boundaries in terms of how heavy they will get, so, you know, you're not going to end up with four atlases, the Steiner Recon Lance. You, you wish you did, but you won't. Um, although, by the way, all of this can be edited in uh, JSON files, so... Uh, if you're familiar with their really basic data structure files, they're very readable. Um, when I do my live stream, I'll show that off a bit more. But everything in the game can be modded. Uh, this game is heavily moddable. You can basically create uh, any kind of game you want out of this. So I was showing you guys that you could mod units. Just take it from me. You can throw weapons and stuff on units. I don't want to crash the game, though, in case there's some bug I got to sort out. Um, you can also paint your units if you want. So you can come up with, uh, you know, some kind of paint scheme for your units, uh, for all of your units. Um, or, you know, you could come in here, you could literally paint, you know, an individual mech. Give it some flair if you want. And then once you've painted it, you can lock it so that that way um, that paint scheme is locked. So if you go and try and paint all your mechs, uh, you know, you're not going to be messing with any mech that you've You've custom painted so anyway i don't know mech you know painting your units is a thing that's big in the battletech community people love to do it um and so i thought i would add it into this game um there is a black market to find so that's kind of exciting you can buy mechs on the dl but uh, the other big thing is uh oh you can also uh get involved in the stock market just like crescent hawks inception so that's kind of fun but uh the other thing is contracts you know um so just like mech warrior one um, there's various contracts, uh, there's different kinds of, uh, things that you need to accomplish. This is elimination of raid forces. This will be, uh, units running across the map and you have to wipe them out. Um, these are all elimination of raid fortresses, or uh, forces though. Um, this one is glitch. So yeah, again, there's a little bit of, uh, work still to do here, but you know, you can come in and you can negotiate your prices and your salvage and all that and make an offer and they will counter offer and you can accept. And so just to end on something a little fun, why don't we see the um, combat in action? So let's throw our griffin, our grasshopper. So you do have weight and uh, size limits, and those are negotiable. Um, so we are basically at our weight limit there, so we can't really bring anyone else, even though we have more mechs. So the fun part of this game is making a profit, having a successful uh, crew that is able to earn money and, uh, you know, um, live large. So anyway, um, okay, we've seen a wasp. Oh, there they are. Let's eliminate these guys. Oh, we might actually succeed in this. Just a couple of wasps, eh? Well, this is a pretty easy mission. Um, oh, there's more actually. Okay, they're coming from all over. Um, so yeah, you can see uh, there's, you know, a combat system here. Uh, units will engage. I gave them the engage order. That's why they're sort of running around. You can come in. You can disable different weapons, turn them on. So you can, like, micromanage how your units are going to fight. You can scan enemy units to get a uh, sort of more detailed picture of what's going on with them. You know, in a fight this easy, I don't really have to micromanage. but uh, Or maybe I do, actually. You can focus fire down units. So I've told my two guys to target this guy here. And we'll focus him down. Let's focus down this guy. 
So focusing down enemies is usually a good way to go uh, about winning, but... Yeah, anyway, this game will be coming out... There'll be a public alpha at some point this summer. I'm gonna do a live stream ahead of that when it is a little more ready. But it is getting there. It is getting close. It's just not quite there yet. So anyway, if you have just found the channel, thanks to Sarna.net, or if you're a longtime fan, hopefully today has, uh, you know, whet your appetite for this upcoming Battletech fan game called Battle Merc. So stay subscribed to the channel, follow me on Twitter, keep an eye out on the uh, Battletech subreddit. Those are all places where when this game comes out, you will be uh, informed about it. Um, and then here's some available scrap. We can take an SRM2. You can also um, sort of take Battlefield Salvage to like instantly repair your units. And there are different kinds of repairs. So, uh, you know, you could even get an engine off the battlefield and repair a unit that's been totally destroyed. You just take some C bills if you want. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's it for today, guys. Uh, I hope you guys are looking forward to this. I have had a heck of a time programming this, but a lot of fun along the way. So, uh, yeah, I hope you like what you see. And uh, more info will be coming soon. So, until next time, my friends, remember no guts, no galaxy. And uh, I'll see you soon. Peace.